turning now to your community focus. Ever since then, Lieutenant Governor Dan McKee ascended to the state's top job when Gina Raimondo left to join the Biden administration. There has been renewed focus on the job of the LG. Joining me now in studio, Republican candidate for Lieutenant Governor Aaron Gukian. Thanks for being here. Hey, good afternoon, Kim. Thanks for having me. So the last time you were here, you gave us our, your 60 second elevator pitch about, you know, why you're running. But why specifically for Lieutenant Governor? Well, qualifications matter in this race. I have an MBA, uh, vice president of a bank. I worked at Rhode Island Foundation. And, and the real, real big choice that Rhode Islanders have is who do you trust if something like the impossible happened where Gina Raimondo was elevated to uh, the Biden administration? And I think the choice is clear. I mean, uh, I have a great background. I grew up here in East Greenwich. I have three daughters. My wife's a professor at Johnson Wales University. And I just can't wait to get to work and, and really uh, help the people of Rhode Island. You worked before as a special assistant to Governor Kachiri, mm -hmm. um, but you've never held elected office yourself. Why throw, throw your hat into the ring now? Yeah, well, you know, I thought it was time. I'm 46 years old. I wanted to jump in, roll up my sleeves, and help the people of Rhode Island. And as I stated last time, I want to start a help center. I want to help people navigate through the state system and cut through the tet red tape. And right now we have so many barriers to entry right now. And given my background as a business banker, I worked at the Washington Trust Company and Bank Newport. I know people are suffering right now and they need people with qualifications and people that will show up and especially debate. And I can't wait to debate the appointed Lieutenant Governor who unfortunately uh, didn't show up last time. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos. Mm. Her and Governor Dan McKee are sort of unofficially running as a ticket. It doesn't mm. work that way here in Rhode Island the way it does in Massachusetts. So it is possible that you could be elected as a Republican. Mm. Governor Dan McKee is elected as a Democrat. How do you see that relationship working? Well, as I've stated, you know, I'm supporting Ashley Kalis for governor. Uh, I've known Governor McKee for a long time, for about 20 years. Um, he's a good man. And, uh, you know, I I'm, I'm just want to help Rhode Islanders. So once I uh, went elected, I can't wait to work with whomever the governor is. And uh, it's going to be a great day. Uh, so I'm excited to start. You've said recently that Lieutenant Governor Matos has been, quote, missing in action when it comes to uh, meetings of the Emergency Management Advisory Council. It's part of her statutory duties to be on this council. Um, you said those meetings used to take place once a month but have now been cut in half. I looked at the minutes. They haven't met once a month in a long time. Yeah, and I mean, here we are. We had this major hurricane. We got monkeypox. We got COVID. And why can't you meet, I would say, twice a month? Uh, given the, you know how serious the times are in the situation, and um, you know as you stated, I was a special assistant to the governor Kachiri, and six weeks into it, we had the station fire, and uh, you can't rush experience. You definitely can't teach experience, and that's why I want to be uh, your next lieutenant governor. You mentioned the you know emergency management council and also the help center that you want to start. Mm. Elder care, something that you're also passionate about. Yeah, I mean, our seniors, we've got to really start helping seniors. And that's why I'm going to pick up the phone. I'm going to help people navigate through the state system. My mother-in-law died of Alzheimer's, and it just imploded our family. And when it happened, I was in the sandwich generation. I had older parents, I had younger kids, and it was just such a difficult time. We really didn't know where to start, even with all my background. And I can't imagine what it's like when people don't have that support. So what I want to do is do a single sign on, one username and password, help people across all departments to navigate that state system. And right now our seniors, they have you know a limited amount of money. They're getting crushed right now at the grocery store. Uh, you know, electricity is up 47 percent. Everything is very difficult. And if you don't trust the person that could take over, and that's the biggest thing I want to tell Rhode Islanders today is who do you trust to elevate to the next step if that ever happens? And I believe that's Aaron Gukin for lieutenant governor, and I can't wait. All right, that is all the time that we have. Republican candidate for lieutenant governor Aaron Gukian, thank you so much. And he joins two others on the ballot this November, the Democratic incumbent Sabina Matos and independent challenger Ross McCurdy. And they will both be joining us here on 12 News at 4 in the coming weeks. Looking ahead to tomorrow when Commerce Secretary Liz Tanner will be joining us live in studio to talk about some big projects in Rhode Island, including the restoration of the Superman building and the Tidewater Landing Project in Pawtucket. That's coming up right here at 4 tomorrow.